I'm Ben Ben Sao, and I'm a professor of technology and operations management at INSEAD. I'm going to introduce you to a whole new narrative on innovation. I'm going to show how you can hardwire innovation into a company's DNA. All in all, I've spent uh, 20 years doing research and teaching on innovation. I've studied close to 100 companies, organizations uh, around the world uh, in many different industries, from uh, startups in the Silicon Valley to small and medium-sized organizations, uh, all the way to large industrial conglomerates. And I've come across some quite fascinating companies. Companies that have managed to proactively transform themselves into innovation powerhouses. Now, to my surprise, many of these were old, established companies operating in traditional industries. And this is the reason why I wanted to write a book. I wanted to tell the story of these companies, to document some of the key insights, and more importantly, I wanted to codify what I had learned in the form of new concepts, new frameworks, and a toolkit to help individuals teams and organizations become more innovative. This is why I wanted to develop a different innovation narrative, change the way we think about innovation. My research first helped me debunk three myths. The first myth is that innovation is uh, driven by some innovation hero. That's not true. Anyone can innovate. Innovating skills can be learned. The second myth is that innovation is all about big bangs, uh, disruptions and breakthroughs. This is not true. I've seen companies, old established companies, enter new industries thanks to their approach to continuous and systematic innovation. The third myth I want to debunk is that innovation is the sole responsibility of senior leaders uh, or a few people in R&D to the contrary, innovation is driven by the whole organization. The fourth part of my uh, innovation narrative is that uh, in innovative organizations, innovation is not only driven internally, inside out, but by customers outside in, by discovering and addressing new customer needs. The last part of my new innovation narrative is that innovation is not only about startups and sexy high-tech companies. All types of organizations can innovate, including public services and government agencies. All companies can innovate. So what do these companies that I studied have in common? What I found is that under the hood of a highly innovative company, there are not one, but two engines, similar to those of a jet plane. These two engines consist of the execution engine, which implements the corporate strategy of today, and the innovating engine focused on building the strategy of the future. It imagines, develops, tests the new products, services, and processes of the future. These two engines operate simultaneously in parallel. This means that every employee is given permission to regularly engage in some form of innovating activity as part of their regular job. The research showed that the innovating engine is defined and regulated by three types of processes. The creation process, the integration process, and the reframing process. The creation process, if you will, is the process by which the organization uh, generates new ideas on a continuous and systematic basis. Integration is the process by which these new ideas get connected, connected to each other, to other ideas, to other innovators, and to resources within and outside the, the organization. This integration process also includes reviewing channeling, testing, prototyping uh, new ideas for implementation with the best ones moving to the execution engine. The third process that I uncovered uh, is what I call the reframing process. 
This is the process by which the organization uh, questions itself, challenges the shared assumptions and belief about uh, the business, about its own identity, the clients, the customers, and their needs. This process also includes setting up a new agenda, establishing stretch goals, and creating a new sense of purpose, ambition, and commitment to the future. This way, I've developed a three by three framework, which I call the BTI framework, Build to Innovate framework, which provides examples of concrete actions and behaviors for each category of employees. This is a practical, action-oriented framework to help companies build their innovating engine from scratch, maintain it, and expand it over time.